Hello everyone, welcome to the Low Price Experience with me, Jaden Price. This is the show where I interview everybody, uh, or where I interview a bunch of people that I'm into, and yeah, um, so, please subscribe, it's free, and also, just li like this on Spotify, and also follow the playlist on Spotify, podcast on Spotify, thank you. What's up lads, um, it's me. Jaden, we're in a location. It's a location. <laughs> and today we have on this wonderful podcast, we have the wonderful Freddy Hatake, who is a, and we have that over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so what's up, Freddy? How are you doing? Oh, I should say nice because we're in front of cameras. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jeez. All right. Um, uh, so let's talk a little bit about let's talk a little bit about TikTok because you're quite into TikTok. Yeah. How many followers do you have there? About three hundred and ninety at this. Three hundred and ninety followers on TikTok, man. TikTok, man. Like that's crazy. Um. So like, how long have you been doing TikTok for? Basically four months. Four months. Jeez. Okay. I I thought you started with it like. Yeah, no, I, no, I'm pretty sure like four months sounds like like the correct time, um, but like four months um, and almost 400 followers, um, you must be quite proud of that type of thing. I am, yes. I'm just like the only thing that really bugs me. A lot of my favorite TikTokers uh -huh. started out with TikTok like sit in six months, and within six months they got like 500k. But not not all of us are like that catchy or like has that video that goes viral. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean because, like, you know, here on YouTube, of course, I'm doing kind of the same thing. Where it's like, I make videos that are like gaming video. I make like all kinds of variety stuff, and like, um, and I quite like doing the whole variety thing. But it's like, I figured I would get bigger by now. But like as well, I just like, I if for those of you who don't know, I released a great video. I think it's a great video anyway, and everyone tells me it's a great video called um, Success. Um, which I did about how numbers shouldn't measure your success, how it should be your satisfaction um, of the content that you create. Um, and I feel like you, um, as a person, are very satisfied with the content you create because you're a big fan of anime, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm legitimately looking at this man's manga collection. <laughs> um, I've, the, the editor J Vision, I expect you to take a pic, I expect you to show this on the podcast when you edit it yeah that picture um so yeah no this man is quite the um anime fan um and let's talk a little bit let's talk a little bit about that like how long have you um been into anime basically i came home one day in grade one uh -huh. when i so when he's like seven yeah, when I was like about seven years old, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I just felt off, you know, stuff wasn't going good, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. you know what, let's switch on the TV, yeah. and immediately I go to the classic South African channel, Yeah. I, which, I which channel? <laughs> SABC2, uh -huh. and then I yeah, switch sure. it on at five, and all of a sudden oh, yeah. there's this, like, episode one of this interesting, like, cartoon story, mm. at that moment I thought it was a cartoon, called Naruto, and it's like, wow, this is some good shit, like the first yeah. episode already. And then all of a sudden, since that day on, I started watching it often, and then from there on out, what turned into watching an episode of anime in one day, turned into me watching anime like a complete nine years at once. So yes, I, I finished so Naruto, like 720 episodes. Jeez, okay. Well, that's a lot of anime to watch, and I feel like you have to be very dedicated to watch that much anime. Um, and you know, me personally, I'm not that I'm not the biggest fan of anime. But um, the fact that you're like you're into it, um, I really respect that because like you seem like you're really really into it, and like you have a lot of collections and that type of thing, and like you and you take it very seriously, and you have a like whole dedicated TikTok page to it, and it's like, dude, like hands down, I've. I didn't think I've ever seen um, the dedication to like anime that you have in your craft, and I really, really like that. I really, really admire that because like I feel like you're doing a really, really good job uh, on TikTok and everything like that. And you're you're doing really well as a content creator in general. You're like, you know, you're talking to people like really nicely, and you like 
you know, or you're like responding to comments and everything like that with a really, really nice tone and everything like that. Usually it's very, very calm, very, very docile. It's never like, oh, but I mean, except for the one, <laughs> like one video that you made. Let's talk a little about, about that in a sec. But like, I really, really respect the way that you, um, that you address people in your videos. And I really, really like it because it gives a nice energy. It gives a nice vibe. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit of the, about that video. Everybody, the video in question that I'm talking of, if editor Javjin is, like, not lazy, he's gonna play it right now. Here we go. Okay, well, let's hope that he wasn't lazy. Um, um, but, like, yeah, so could you, like, basically, um, for us, like, summarize what led up to the event of you making that video? The problem is... Kind Okay, so this is a really simple explanation of the video in question, but imagine Freddy replying to a comment where they were talking about something that he found was wrong, uh, according to anime that he did research on, that he didn't think that, that person did research, research on, where he was just telling them, <laughs> he was swearing at them and everything like that. It was, you know, it was a real situation, but that's basically the video in question that I'm talking of here. I, I'm not going on TikTok and trying to figure out how to download videos onto PC. I'm sorry, but I'll, I'm explaining it, and he's gonna talk about it. So yeah. Like what happened afterwards? The problem is the anime sort of online is mm. not very liked around the world, and me personally hate the anime. Like hate I did. it. I did. Because of the sexual stuff in the anime, it feels wrong. Uh -huh. Like the rapist complex, like constantly. Mm. That like, just that's why I don't like that type of Rape anime. Hold on, rapist complex? Yes, where um, basically the villains aren't really like normal villains. They're like rapists, and basically they're one objective. So basically normal villains. <laughs> yes, and absolute horrible villains. Or absolute horrible people. Yeah, and my problem is. Because of that, they judge the main character's strength. Where it has been proven in the manga that the main character could shake a universe when he got his powers from the game in real life. Mm. And then they say, in a normal fight, remember we're not talking about normal sword fighting, we're talking about in a strength fight. Okay, yeah. They say that Zoro, the character from One Piece, could beat Kirito. And the problem is, this guy physically went out of his way to attack me because he's a big One Piece fan. He's PFP, mm -hmm. he's even Luffy from One Piece. Okay. And the big problem I had is, Kirito scales up to multiversal. Okay. So that means he can destroy multiverses. Okay. And Zoro scales up to like Mountain Buster, he can destroy a mountain. Okay. And then they said, no way in hell, Kirito is a lot slower. That's not true, basically. Mm. Kirito is a lot faster than Zoro, and all those factors lead, led up to it. Uh -huh. Then they said, okay, but where's the proof in the anime? And that's the problem I have with these people. Because if you do an anime versus battle, you take both characters at their prime. Uh -huh. yeah. And you put okay. them against each other, even if it is in a manga. Okay. I mean, well, that makes sense. Um, but... Generally, like with that video, um, obviously, I mean, like I would understand that, like you wouldn't get that good of a response, that people wouldn't like that too much, you know, um, that the context of the video. Um, if editor JVision was lazy, let me just explain to you what this means, um, or like what happened in the video. Um, Freddie basically kind of called this guy a f***ing idiot <laughs> because he thinks that like this one and. Because he thinks that, what was the name? Zoro could beat Kirito. Zoro could beat Kirito, okay. So he calls him a f***ing idiot, uh, and, uh, like, says, you know, oh, your f***ing, like, Luffy profile pick is shit or something like that in the video. And it just says in f***ing massive subtitles, 16 plus. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, <laughs> okay, interesting. I just, like, see that 16 plus thing pop up, but I'm just like, are you showing, like, some some low-key NSFW stuff, like, kinda edging towards NSFW, or, like, I didn't know exactly, but, like, with that type of video where you were, like, um, I wouldn't say, um, I wouldn't say rough. <laughs> uh, you know what, I would say rough, because I would actually want to say brutal, because you weren't brutal, but I'd say you were a little bit rough with the guy. Um... For a fan base that's so um, dedicated to you and so like nice with you and everything like that, how did they take it when you um, basically said to this guy, "You 
you're a piece of shit or something like that. How do people is, respond to that? Um, let me actually just tell you something interesting. Oh yeah. This guy made five videos on my one video, and I made three, four, three to four videos in return. And what happened was with the last video, he started like making like a, with a voice changer. He changed my voice, and that like aggravated me. And because of that, like I gave him all the facts. I was even willing to get scans oh, yeah. to show this yeah. guy. Yeah. And my fan base, Sorry, my fan base. Yeah, let me also just turn. Yeah, no problem, no problem. My like, my like fan base, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were completely like they were like, okay, well, like what happened? Like wh why yeah. are you like acting like this? Just because trying to understand what happened with the controversy, yeah. basically. And then I told him to go check like my good friend if. He's watching this by accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kia, like he was like, "What's going on?" And I told him, "Go check out this guy's page. He made five videos on me." Oh yeah, yeah. And then after I made that video, right after like my follower was like, "Yeah, no, we can understand why you did it." Oh yeah. yeah. And then that guy makes another video to say, "Screen hey, just went I... off. It's on standby. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably fine." Okay. Um, and then basically, yeah. he just said, hey, "And hey." You can even see what this guy is doing. Like he sw he sweared at me. Like that that was his words in his video. Then you could hear it's like an eight year old child. Yeah, dude. Like busy like catfishing somebody on the internet. Yeah, I mean, with like that type of internet drama thing, like I've personally, I feel like I'm personally very lucky because I've never really had any run-ins like that where it's like, oh, fuck, you've made a big mistake now. Like, no one's ever really been that offended by my content or anything like that, and I've never really gone out of my way to go out, go off to people. Okay, no one's been offended by my content, little prick. Why are you looking at me like that? People could see your stupid little face popping out there. <laughs> but, like, um, I'm joking, of course. Fans, I know my mother. I know my mother he's watches joking. this podcast. He's Hi, joking. Mom. Hi, Mom. I'm joking, I promise. <laughs> okay, but like, um, uh, I've, I've never had a uh, run-in like that, and the thing is, um, I feel like the way that you handled it, not to be rude or anything like that, was a little bit much, um, I get, I get that you were like trying to like give him back what he'd given you, um, of course. yeah, I, I mean like that, I 100% stand by and everything like that, but, um, the fact that you gave him any attention in the first place was a little bit of a mistake on your in your um, court. That yeah. is true. Like what happened was this wasn't not like the like yeah. all the other controversies that happened. I like settled it in the comments. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And it was like, like I have a big problem with the Seven Deadly Sins fan base mm -hmm. because they think their anime is all that. I'm not oh, yeah. saying it's not all that. It's like it's your preference to which anime you like. Yeah. But then they want to come scale their character a lot higher, mm -hmm. and that's the big problem. Just because they like the anime. Just because they like the anime. I mean, well, because it's like I get I get how that could be like kind of upsetting to you or kind of like aggravating to you because it's like, like, dude, this is the whole point of this guy's freaking channel, you know, like, he, um, you know, he, all he does is, like, he does factual, um, versus stuff, um, all from, like, looking at stats and everything like that, because I know you go into kind of, like, big, like, like, you do a bit of research when you, like, make your videos. A lot of research, yeah. it, it yeah. should take you research. watching the full anime and reading the manga to the point where it's already like finished oh, yeah. and yeah. reading the writer's notes okay yeah yeah so um basically a lot of time and a lot of effort that goes into it um and like the fact that you would just like undermine someone's work and effort like that is just like so fucking toxic man that's a full of shit um i just genuinely don't like people who do that um and i can't believe that you have to deal with that type of thing uh like, is it, like, often that you have to deal with that type of thing? Like, you have to... <laughs> Phone, don't worry about it, we'll ignore that, that's fine, alright. Um, uh, yeah, it's actually very often, like, very if often. I post a video that makes a statement that a certain fan base that Like, let's take the Seven Deadly Sins fan base, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. One Punch Man fan base, mm -hmm. and then, like, the One Piece fan base. Yeah, yeah. When you say their character will not win, 
and you give them the proof and like you can put them up this like against one of the strongest anime characters called like so like or well, the strongest anime one of the most strongest anime characters called Goku uh-huh. and like Goku can destroy like more than multiverses <laughs> and then they're like and there are people like mountain busters yeah and the big problem is then they like get angry at you when like I'm not the one that wrote the anime I'm not the one that said this guy yeah you are not the one who did any of this type of stuff um, which I just feel is absolute bullshit, really. Um, it's, because it's not your fault or anything like that. Like, you don't, like, it's not like you wrote any of the shit that happened, and it's not like, you know, uh, you were just the guy who did the research on it, and the guy who, like, looked into all of the facts and everything like that, which I very much admire, because, um, whenever I do a commentary video or something like that, I just sit down and I, like, watch a video, and I just... Like make jokes like a twat. That's what I do when I make commentary videos. This is what I do. I just like make jokes like a twat. That's what I do. Um, and you just like go into it. You genuinely put a lot of effort into it, and I really, really admire your amount of dedication that you put into like making your videos. Uh, and I feel like if everyone who uh, is watching this podcast doesn't have a TikTok, which I I assume you do because of course you do. It's 2021. Who doesn't have a TikTok account? If any of you have a TikTok account uh, and you have a bit of time to spare, please make sure to go and drop a fo- follow for Freddy Hitake. And uh, if any of you watch me on Twitch, um, if I'm ever streaming and Freddy's live, uh, I'm definitely going to host him or I'm going to rate him a lot. Um, so please make sure to just like drop drop by there, drop my boy a follow, you know. You're Freddy Hitake on like Instagram, right, as well? Yes. And like on Twitter. And on Twitter, and on basically any social media platform, I'm Freddy Atake. Dog, you guys have, like, no reason not to check this man out. So please, check him out. Um, very, very good man here. Um, but yeah. Um, so, um, like, anyone ever notice you at school or anything for that type of, like, with, with, like, TikTok or something like that? No, but I have been noticed in public. In public? Really? Yes. How did that go? Basically, normal day walking into like the anime shop, like oh, yeah. that's like the the place I would find somebody walking. Of course, into of course, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. And there was like the guys like, hey, I, I recognize you from TikTok, and I'm like, hey, cool. Yeah. And then like yeah. it ended up being the guy that works there. They're like, ah, ah dude, that's f- cool. Future sponsorship. You know? Nice oh, future sponsorship. <laughs> um, but that's cool. Um, I've had moments where, like, at school, like, a guy will, like, like, this spe- one specific guy who I've noticed, like, rec- recognized me, like, this one time, who I was kind of, like, I was kind of shocked by, because it was, like, a guy I knew beforehand, but, um, I don't like him, so, <laughs> hopefully he's not watching this podcast, if you are, sorry, man, I didn't, sorry, bud, um, but, yeah, um, so, like, I remember the one day I was just, like, leaving school, um, it was a typical day and everything like that, you know, before the whole Rona hit, before the Ovid-19 hit, you know, the old Ovid, um, but before that happened, uh, I was just, like, walking out of school one day, and I remember this guy, he comes up to me, he's like, yo, dude, I saw your channel, and I'm like, please don't, just... You know, it was like, it was a little bit like, ish. Because like, I don't know if it's like that for you, but like for me, it's very much like, I put on a character in my videos if people didn't like, I mean, you have to know. I'm not like the way I am in my videos in real life. Um, but, um, you know, I I put on a character because I want a differentiation between uh, my real life and like, and my YouTube life. Um, whereas with this podcast, I get a little bit more, you know, you know, I get a little more real, you know, um, which I like doing a lot. Um, but yeah, uh, do you personally feel like you put on a specific character when you do your, uh, videos or is it just like you in a more, um, shall we say professional environment or something like that? No, I definitely put on a character. Oh yeah, for sure. I, you have to on camera put on the positive face and the good yeah. vibes only. Yeah, it can't but be. As, as you all know, like the people in this room, including little man over there. Little man over there just doing random shit throughout yeah, the as podcast. As you all know, like yeah. 
basically that's like I'm not like always like that. Like oh, yeah, technically yeah. these days shit's been going rough, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean like well no one is really. No one in the real world is just happy twenty four seven and they can't work like that. Exactly. Because like, you know, everyone's gonna have their downtime, everyone's gonna have their down days, their sad boy hours, you know? That happens and when it happens you just gotta, you know, you gotta be ready for it and you just gotta accept it. You gotta be like, hey, I'm not feeling good today, but that's okay because I'm allowed to feel down. Uh, and then you need those days where you um, where you just take off. Um, and I really respect that um, you personally you acknowledge that type of thing. And yeah, I haven't so much taken it to heart, I'll admit, uh, because you are still like uploading TikToks relatively recent. I I don't think that you've really been uploading that much yeah. recently. Yeah. So I think like you've been kind of on a break, honestly, with TikTok. Um, for like mental health, yeah. Yeah, no, with mental health reasons, and of course, like that, that's absolutely fine, and that's great that you're taking a little break uh, from TikTok. You know, whenever you get back on again, I'm sure everyone's gonna love your stuff. Everyone's gonna like all of your videos. Everyone's gonna watch all of your videos many times. Everyone is going to like all of his videos and watch them many times. <laughs> Everyone, Everyone will watch, watch his, his videos, videos and, and like, like them, them many, many times. times. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, I really respect the fact that you are able to um, just walk away from something that you're so passionate about uh, and something that you that you think of as kind of like a hobby, I suppose. Yeah, it's as a lifestyle. Yeah. As a lifestyle, yeah, okay. Um, Me and you like, had that discussion before. <laughs> yeesh. Mm. Yeah, no, but like... Um, I genuinely, I'm proud of you because, like, you're able to step away from the whole YouTube th or, like, from the whole TikTok sphere and just, like, be able to be a real person and just take a second to just be like, hey, I'm not okay right now, but that's going to be okay soon. I'm going to be okay fine. I'm going to be okay at some point. Uh, and that's, that's always good then. Uh, and I'm very, I'm super proud of you that you're able to just take a break like that and just be like, you know what? This shit I'm out, you know? That's fine. I'm super proud of you as well for being able to do that. Um, and yeah, um, I definitely feel like it's super, super healthy to take breaks every now and then. I haven't. I've been getting them weekly vids in. I've been grinding it, you know? Whenever we moved to the new house, I had like that week off. And to be honest, it, like, like, it didn't affect me. I was just kind of like... I want to make a video, though. You know, it was a little bit annoying to, like, actually not be able to make videos. Um, and that's how I know that I'm still just, like, I really want to make content. I really want to keep on making stuff. Uh, and plus with, like, my PC upgrades that I did recently, thanks to you, um, like, I should be able to make more content, and I should be able to make higher quality content. Uh, and I'm really appreciative of that, because, like, there are so many people out there, so many people out there, who are just, like, burning out, like, at the moment. Just, like, probably on their last bit of fuel that they have in the tank. Um, and that's, you know, that's really sad, because then those people probably feel like they can't, they can't just, like, put their foot on the brake for a bit. Um, and they just feel like they need to, like, lean in harder so that, like, they get more of a result, but like little do they know, people know, people know when you're upset, people know when you're faking it, people know when you're like down and trying to act better than like what you actually are, you know, like when you're down, you need to admit it, man down, I'm not doing good, great, I'm not doing great guys, then you just need to be able to admit that, and I think the fact that you are able to admit that and live with that type of thing is just so brave of you to do, man. Um, and I'm really, really proud. I'm really, really proud to, like, watch you, um, because you make content, uh, because you make, yeah, you make content on TikTok, uh, and it's, like, all of it is, like, there's so much effort that's gone into it. There's so much, because, like, I can tell, watching an entire anime and reading the manga and the dude, that's just the way too much, like, that's way too much of my time, but the fact that you have that time, and also the fact that you dedicate that time to that type of thing, it's just crazy to me, and I'm, like, so proud of you for it, because it's like, you make such good videos, you make great videos, man, um, and yeah, you know, I'm just, like, really proud, because you're, you're able to step away, be like, yeah, I know, 
I'm great, I'm f I'm brilliant, you know? And then just like being able to step away and just be like, hey, you know? Maybe I'm not doing so hot right now. Maybe I'm a little, maybe I'm a little cold actually, you know? Like, that's fine. No, it's actually, no, it's great. I actually want to elaborate on you with another- Oh yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> but off script. <laughs> off script. Dude, there isn't a script to this. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna ask him all of these questions and I'm gonna talk on the same rhythm. The thing is, I see a lot of people like on their statuses. On yeah. The yeah, app WhatsApp. Yeah. Going on about how they always have to help anybody, but nobody's there for them. Like we have talked about this. Man's, man's right here. Yeah. <laughs> Exemplar. And basically, I like never go to my to, like to my WhatsApp and say, "Yo, I always help everyone." I would post depressing anime quotes sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I would never say, "Oh yeah, nobody's here for me," or like, "I'm so tired of helping everyone." But the fact is, like, I have people who depend basically off of me like being their psychologist that that gets very hard and people oh. like, like you know gun against head or what should i do next like i mean yeah. doing that type of stuff on a on a daily for people mm. it really works in on you and that, like i'm not like complaining or anything but no. it's just like sometimes your own stuff that and then people you love the most problems working in on you like at once yeah and yeah. that's just like basically makes the walls from this to this yeah. and that's basically and if, if you've been bottling up emotions like whoever's watching this video and bottles their emotions up please talk to somebody you trust this guy i trust him like talk to somebody you trust us. yeah and then like let it out because if you keep on bottling up you will explode yeah, yeah. i think that that's um a super good point, a really, really good point. Um, and I'm happy that you make that point because a lot of people um, rely on bad people. Like, a lot of people rely on, like, toxic people to do that type of thing. And then, like, those toxic people, like, you know, they don't have time for you one day. Um, and you're already like in the midst of just like they will solve all of my problems they are what i need and then it's like looks like i can't be here for you today dog looks like you're gonna f like die of something i don't know but it's like you get caught on one bad day it takes one bad day it makes it takes one mistake to to, to end to your life one mistake yes one mistake one weak moment and like, there's so many people out there who are probably, like, just look watching this and are just like, yeah, yeah, that's me. Um, but the only thing that I really want to say is that, hey, you can do it. You can do I got you, baby. You got this, you know? You're going to be fine. You're going to be great. You're going to be, you're going to be wonderful, actually. Because uh, everyone's great in their own way. Uh, and everyone's amazing at something. You just need to figure out what you're amazing at, um, and what makes you feel so good. Because like with this whole YouTube thing, I feel so good and so satisfied and everything like that. And dude, like just in general, like I feel so, I feel so good about like all of my videos and everything like that. I just won't put a video out unless I'm just like, you know what, this is freaking gold, bro. You know, um, and. A lot of people um, think that they need to have something where it's like, this needs to be amazing for everything, and it's like, not everything has to be amazing, because not everything is amazing. Some people just really aren't good at stuff. Like, um, for instance, me with, like, science. I'm bad at science. I know I'm bad at science. I need to work so that I don't absolutely destroy myself, but, like... You know, I know I'm bad at science, and that's just who I am. Like, and that's just who, how it is, you know? You just gotta work a little bit on those bits that are bad, um, but put a lot of your focus on stuff that you're good at, like with uh, English for me. I'm super good at English, but like the thing is, like a lot of the time, um, you know, I, I put effort into that, and then I forget that I need to um, pay attention to the other stuff, so I just end up like, like building myself up and like overclocking my brain basically and it's like 
Dude, that's just not healthy, bro. That's just not healthy, bro. You gotta have balance. You gotta have balance in your life, man. Especially that Wednesday night grind. That Wednesday night grind, boys. <laughs> you know that that geography is gonna be in tomorrow on Thursday. I'm doing it, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting on that shit. Going to sleep at two in the morning. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> You know, that, that, that hit home, that hit home for you, man. <laughs> I bad. Our man's, our man's sitting behind. Toilet paper in the back, bro. No, I'm good. Yeah, um, how's the Rona time been treating you? Not good at all. Not good? <laughs> you, you all know I'm a very, like, physical mm. and social person. So yeah. basically, <clears throat> the, that really gave me a hard hit, and that's why I'm physically going through my stuff. Oh, yeah. It's because of the fact that when I was at home for a long time last year, oh yeah, yeah. you remember I did that like weird thing where I went to school only for tests and then stayed at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. And then that. staying for a long time at home with all these people and stuff, getting very tired for them. Like at them. Yeah, of course. I mean, and like, yeah. Basically, yes, and that just like all worked in. I mean, sitting in your house for like two months without going out a towel, like, like yeah, no, it's gonna be hell because it's like you're used to you're used to going out every day, and you're used to seeing people every day, and then going from seeing a variety of people every day uh, all the time is just weird, you know. It's gonna be weird, people. You know, you're not you've never experienced something like this before. Um, a lot of people, or like most people, haven't experienced this ever. Um, so it's like, bro, you know, whatever's going on with you right now, you gotta, you gotta take a little pause, take a little pause from thinking, and just be like, you know what, I'm stepping back, I'm out, man. I'll, I'll come back in a bit. I'm just like, you know, Mr. Brain is out for the set, is out for the time being. You know, I gotta go. You know, it's like. You know, sometimes it's okay for your brain to just be like, you know what, I'm gone. If, you, if you're going to have some time to just think about it, to just process everything. Um, and you got to remember, everything is also like... Like, you can take however much time that you need. Um, if you feel like you need to um, spend like a month processing this... You have a month! You, <laughs> you for sure have a month! Um, but like... Um, if you feel like you need, like, a year or something like that. <laughs> Possibly. Probably. Um, but yeah, um, and yeah, I'm just like, you know, anyone who's overworking yourself, stop it. Get some help. Spend some time in your room or with your friends or something like that, you know? You don't have any symptoms, no one near them has shown symptoms or anything like that, you know? Have yourself a little social distance hangout, you know? Just vibe from 1.5 meters away, or like a meter away maybe, um, you know? Or like be like good old Vessel over there, crying on his floor in fetal position. Um, that's, you know, that's also an option. Uh, but yeah, um, just, you know, if you're overworking, if you're overworking yourself, stop it, man. Stop! Stop! You know? Take a break. And that's fine. You can come back later. Everything's still gonna be here. The world's still gonna be exactly the way that you left it. Maybe a little better, but like still, it's gonna be horrible. You know? Of course. Because the world is like whatever state you left it in, it's probably gonna be the same when you come back. Um, I was once watching this video um, that I saw from like Jacksepticeye. Um, I watch a lot of his videos. Um, but, um, I once saw this one video where he'd, like, talk about how if you leave Twitter or, like, any social media for, like, a day, one day, nothing, nothing will happen on that day. Because that's just the way that the world works. And I find it really interesting. Um, really, really, really interesting. Because, like, the moment that the thing that you think is so important, uh, is not in your life anymore... It proves just how unimportant it is. <laughs> because, it's like, obviously, like, in the mornings, like, uh, at school when I'm, like, waiting to get into the classroom or anything like that, I'm a little anti-social boy. I, I don't have friends in my class, and I don't want any. <laughs> but, like, you know, I'm just, like, sitting. <laughs> I'm just sitting. Uh, I just, like, stand outside of my class, scrolling Twitter, you know, checking what all of my peeps are saying. Um, 
and just like check Instagram because like, I I never really get to Instagram because like do I have to go through all of Twitter if I want to get to Instagram next. Like I'm got I've got to be like real desperate if I've got to <laughs> Instagram, bro. You know, it's really gonna be uh, a mucho problema for me to get to Instagram. Like the teacher has probably died on his way to the classroom by that point. <laughs> like it's it's gonna be a massive thing, and like by then someone would have already come and like someone would have already came and just done our register already. But like. I, I scroll Twitter before I, like, go into class, because that's just me. Mini macho <laughs> How are you doing, little mini Macklemoo? <laughs> ah. <laughs> great. Just trying to get some great content out of this being, like, the low price experience number two. The Chunkster and Fre or Freddy Hitake and the Chunkster, but now it's just Freddy Hitake and some <laughs> other prick. <laughs> yeah, that's basically just what like what the title will be of this podcast. Maybe we'll see. Um, doubtful because my mom watches this podcast once again. Hi, mom. Hi. Hello. I can't wait to sense all of this while I'm editing. Hello. Um, but yeah. Man, I'm just gonna put a big black bar over this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. A just a lot of editing, bro. It's so much editing that I'm gonna have to do. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, done any um, done any late night gaming recently? Yes, actually, I've yeah. been playing yeah. some Need for Speed. You know, hey, the, the nice, grind, nice, the nice. grind on the tournaments never stop. Mm. Some Mortal Kombat 11. Nice, I finished nice. Watch Dogs Legion in four days. <laughs> oh, <shit>. Okay, <laughs> like, like, like one full day would have been enough. But like, I had mm. to like take breaks to go like shower. And eat. It's like Legion, like the latest one. Or the yeah, latest. Yeah, is it really the newest one? Yes. Yeah, so oh the shit! Okay, one. cool. Um, yeah, we might just have to play some of that later. <laughs> yeah, I just, I might just have to. Um, but yeah, so late night gaming has that helped you through lockdown at all? Because like with me, um, me personally, I spent um, ninety percent of my lockdown, or or like the first lockdown, anyways. I was talking to my good buddy Nick YT twenty four. He was my reason for getting through lockdown, and my good Mister Cat. Um, you know, we spent a lot of our lockdown just talking, like every night, genuinely every night, um, and it was like really, really fun, and I loved it, it was so great, because it was like, I don't give a shit that I'm staying up until three in the morning, I'm with my boys, you know, virtually, but I'm with my lads, you know? And then we just joined at like the second hall. Yeah, you joined at the second lockdown, and it's with my lads again, but this time with more, and a woman. I have had a bit of rotten luck with the ladies, shall I say, you know. Um, You're a classic chad, you like four I'm a chad, once, you know, I'm, a, I'm an absolute chad, you know, just up in them DMs, you know. Sliding in them DMs, sliding in as many DMs. Sliding through four of them and falling out of five. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but like, yeah, that's basically my life, really. I'm sliding into four DMs, but I'm falling out of five. <laughs> that's it, that's it, boys. Chad and the worst simp in the world all at once. Do, we got do you guys, like, never run out of girls to, like, Chad? Or, like, if, no, never. Like, if, no, if never. the school is finished, no, what happens then? then you go to the next school! On to the you next school. Alone. No. <laughs> you die alone? <laughs> it's high school, my man. In a nutshell, you die alone. Sure. In a nutshell. Yeah. This guy always was in a nutshell. Yeah, it's no. the way what is your something. thing with saying in a nutshell? It's the easiest way to describe something without going into great detail. In a nutshell. That's true, but like, what? You can you can find other words that describe that. Nah, I'm good with it. It's in a nutshell. Can, can everybody see, like, everybody watching this stream, like, that, like, jacket at the back of Jaden's head? Wait, is this a stream? No, it's a video, but... Uh, yeah. For a second, I was like, wait, what the fuck? No, like, can everybody see that jacket? Like, if everybody can see that jacket... Lost an eight ball. Go... Go support my boy Max Verstappen racing for the first time when he posted this video. When is the... Okay, okay, so for, okay, for the second time... Okay, hold on, wait, okay. So let me do the calculation of this. I'm posting on... 
the eighth. Lol, dude, this was filmed in like February or something like that. I can't really remember. I think it was like March, mid March. Jeez, eighth of March, I guess. Wow. Damn, that's forever ago. What is seven days from the 8th? That is the 15th. I'm posting this on the 15th. Okay, yo, like the third or third Grand Prix, go support my boy Max Verstappen. Mm. He really, I, lo I love Max. Yeah. Even when he like throws a child fit, I love the guy. Well, yeah. Uh, the weird thing about this, um, that a lot of people are going to be like, bro about, is that like, we're filming this on the 6th of March, and this is only coming out on the 15th. Nope, very wrong indeed. I think that this is coming out on the 20th of April, my dear friend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, people should be going like, bruh, because that's like about a month, more than a month later. So, I'm very much prepping, uh, <clears throat> but it's like, I like doing that quite a lot because it's like, now, like, I'm probably gonna spend an hour editing this max. I just have to, like, bleep out my swories and do a little, a few effects with this little lad in the background. Oh, and, like, oh, yeah, it's just on standby, don't worry about that. That's happened a few times today. Uh, and just, like, edit the picture of, like, all of Freddy's manga. And, um, but yeah, that's basically all the editing that I have to do. Like, with me, because I spend a lot of time on editing YouTube videos, like, a lot of time. Like, the video that you're going to see, which is on the 8th, the video that I posted on the 8th, is I hate Hypixel. I don't. Uh, <laughs> but, like, you know, so it's, it's just, like, it, of course, clickbait, you know, but it's like a highlight of my stream that I did the other day. That was a good stream. It was a great stream, you know? I scream, yeah, scream. scream. It was a great, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, I just, like, went on Twitch and I was just like, hey, guys, <laughs> And that was it. Then I just ended it, and I made a whole video called Hypixel. I hate Hypixel, and it was all of that scream. I just like auto tuned it differently so it sounds like words, and it sounds like your voice as well. And like for some reason, like somehow, I'm just like that good at auto tune that I was like possible to make it like you know look like a game. So that's why the video is really really laggy because yeah, the auto tune auto was that? really really good, but like strawberry milk. shut the f no I'm kidding. Strawberry um, milky. So for those of you who don't know, me and the lads were planning to, or well, I was planning to because of these lads, I was planning to produce a song called Strawberry Milky off of this meme that I saw or this TikTok that I saw that this man sent me when we were on Discord one night. It was on the day of Valentine's Day. Hey. Yeah, learn. Editor Javision, bring up the video right now. Nobody wants to play with me. Nobody wants me in the regiment. I'm just gonna yeah, have a funny video, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh, I just like point it up at this like, corner for no reason. Um, but anyway, I hope he doesn't me on that one. Yeah, but um, yeah, that video was really, really funny. It's just I suck at. Producing song surprisingly with my song good night. <laughs> surprisingly, I'm not good at producing songs. Um, but yeah, I <coughs> sorry. Yes, you know. Corona. No, it's an aircon on, dude. I I haven't been in a space with an aircon for like months. Um, but yeah, it's basically. Um, yeah. Anyway. Get a comb. Get a comb. Yeah, with a what? Yeah, whatever. We're Do almost done with this. In any case, um, but yeah, hold on. I have a question that I would like to ask. That I think I'm gonna ask whatever guest I have on ever. Um, <clears throat> ghost stories. I'm copying H3H3 with that one, but I don't give a shit because it's interesting. Do you have any ghost stories that you're like comfortable with sharing on the internet? I have Ghost stories, yes, and stories I'm not comfortable with sharing about mental health things. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Ghost stories. Yeah. First of all, like I don't know if this was a ghost, like this, this, but like other people saw it. So oh yeah. That, yeah. that yeah. ensured me it wasn't the mental thing. So. Mm -hmm. And basically, it was like I was going like me and my like mm -hmm. step brother was like sleeping in the room. 
and like he, why are you dead now? <laughs> like he was like sleeping. Sorry, inside, mom. Tied, tied, <laughs> like, tied to the bed. Just wait. <laughs> just, <Tied>? joking. <laughs> just, just joking. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> It's time it's to say sorry. Down. It's time to say sorry, yeah. mom. He was like basically on his phone constantly. Like, like he didn't look up. Like that guy when he's on his phone, it's he was like visualizing this. someone else. Can we talk about how tall I am? Look at this camera, dude. I look so tall. He <laughs> <laughs> looks ridiculous. He looks like so. And then like Freddy yeah, comes like, in the frame. Back up against the <laughs> like Freddy comes in the frame and it's like Jin and it's the shortest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, shit. Are you alright? But, like, I think we have time for, like, one ghost tour. Okay, basically, what happened yeah. was I normally, at late night, you know, mm -hmm. I usually take a bucket to my room for undisclosed reasons. So, Interesting. <laughs> and, like, this night I forgot the bucket, okay? And then I'm like. The and then I'm like. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to bleep that. <laughs> no, like basically, then I went out, right? I opened the door, everything. Oh, no, sorry, like my stomach had a problem, right? Mm -hmm. And I did stuff, and when I was finished, I was like washing my hands. And I looked to the side, and I see this lady, like exactly like. I, I legitimately thought it was my mom, right? But like the hair was wet and stuff, like walked with like speed past. And then I'm like walking and then I'm like looking into like I didn't walk to, to like the kitchen mm. because there's like this wall that blocks anything you see so okay. what do you do I'm not gonna be this that stupid guy in the ghost story being like hey let's go investigate yeah like, no, 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 no. and then you I'm like you, you know do. what I'm gonna turn around and I'm walking to my room closing the two doors like between the kitchen and my room I walked into the room and I like asked my like like my stepbrother mm -hmm. did you see anything and he's like, yeah, like, you just walked out of here, right? Like, again, like, you came in and walked out again. And then I'm like, what? And he's like, he didn't really, he just knows somebody walked out. And, like, he was, like, looking at his phone like this constantly. So he didn't, like, check the face or anything. And then he's like, then I'm like, okay, shit, because, like, I saw that. And it's like, could it be your mom? I'm like, no, the door's closed. Like, did 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 and, did and then he's like, okay, but aren't you gonna go check? And I'm like, are you crazy? Are you like, who did that? You know, no, I legitimately like with those two stuff barricaded my door. Like, okay, yeah, like, now, now, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. now I'm like, gonna sleep. Mate, you don't have to demonstrate. Yeah, All right. Peace. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. It's All right. Like the most crude <clears throat> door barricade that works the most efficient. But yeah. So that's really. And the weirdest thing of all is that wasn't the only time. Like since then, this has been a regular occurrence in my house. Even my mom saw that thing. <laughs> all right, lads, we're gonna have a fun night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a great night. I, I, you I know, the cold cold waters and know. chips and, and also uh, ghosts. And you remember like the like that per that like, like that random undisclosed person who contacted me today? Like we're not yeah. gonna say her name, but like yeah. who like told us like some like emotional shit's gonna happen tonight? Like, whoa. I have a question. Yeah. Is uh, it like the like speed warp? Like you see like... Yeah, well, like I did in the mall today? Like yes. this? No, 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 no. Like the motion blur. Motion blur is the word. Like, is it like motion, motion blur? blur. And almost but not completely because there was times that like instances that this happened once to me. Like I was like talking to this thing like standing still in the kitchen and I like thought I was talking to my mom and then my mom comes like at the back of me and says, hey, who are you talking to? Then I'm like, and then all of a sudden the figure that just disappears when my mom appears. And I was like, yo, bro. Demon, demon. Yeah, but like, I, I've seen other stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, but I've also had like, few encounters like that. Actually, I'll be covered on my own episode. I, I just want to... Like, yeah, we'll do an episode. I'll do an episode with you one day. Fine, you know, maybe it's the next episode. Who knows? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I have quite like, a few good, interesting stories. Like, I still okay. Okay. We can talk about we, that. We should still see if you guys can see tonight, like, the thing I see. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like, maybe it's all in my head, like, Let's usually, get a board. guys... It's Mother! 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 <laughs> we aren't- no, demons. mother! Mother, we aren't summoning demons. There is no demon summoning. Please let me come to Freddy's house again. Bible mother! Study. Bi Bible study. Bible study, <laughs> mother! Bible study! Um, let, let, let me let me just grab the book of spells. I, I mean- The, 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 the Bible. Bible. 
Uh, but yeah, um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Too. So thank you so much, Freddie, uh, for being here. Thanks, the Chonkster, for being a little, hey. for being a little part of it, for being a little, for being a little tasty boy, part of this. You know, um, if you guys like this episode, make sure to leave a like. You know, consider subscribing. It's free. You yeah. know, just like this podcast, the low price experience for the price of absolutely free. You know, subscribe. Uh, and you know what else is. Free TikTok. Follow this man's on TikTok. We yes. need to get him to 400 followers. Let's come on. Let's get him. Do another flip for <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, he's going another one. Nice. All right. Um, but yeah. All right. So please go follow this man's on on uh, on the wonderful TikTok and the oh, wonderful Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. You know, Twitch, Twitch bro. And then we have the Chunkster, who's uh, just available on YouTube. And on <laughs> Twitch. Twitch too. And Twitch too? Wow, uh, great. Okay, yeah. Just um, the Chunk, that's it. Just the Chunk, alright. Uh, I'll see if I can get both of your channel links, you know. I'll get, you know, I'll get both of those. And uh, I'll have a nice tasty description going on, you know. Yeah. And it'll be lovely. great. Yeah, very, very colorful, you know. Um, but thank you so much to everyone who's watching this, everyone who's watched this podcast. I really hope that you enjoyed. Um, and yeah, genuinely have a good day. Uh, and if you're overworking yourself, stop it. And also, if you see any crazy ghost mo m bl motion blur pieces of shit in your house, fucking run. Move out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>